This is what the narcissist will do if you get rid of them. I haven't seen you in a while, so I'm glad to see you. Everyone, have a great day. My piece of advice is easy to remember. Cut ties with a narcissist as soon as you can. Why this subject is the focus of today's video. When I say connections with narcissists, I'm not just talking about romantic ones. I'm also talking about friendships and family ties with narcissists. But the narcissist didn't expect this particular rejection, since they think they deserve everything. No one can argue with it. So, I want to find out how narcissists' minds work after they've been turned down, so I can help other people avoid the same fate. Narcissists feel like they deserve a lot, even when their relationships don't work out. The goal of these people is to have full control over your life. They are sure that only they can decide how their relationship will go. If it is in the narcissist's best interest to be in charge, then the narcissist should be in charge. If you cut the narcissist out of your life or don't pay attention to them, it will hurt them. Since people who have been excommunicated have had their false sense of self attacked, it is likely that they will suffer from narcissistic injury as a result. If you break up with a narcissist, they'll probably try to make it seem like they're the one who got hurt. They act like they care about the person they hurt, but in reality they leave them. No matter how much pain and sympathy they seem to feel, they are planning your death in secret. How you get rid of a narcissist from your life has a lot to do with how much damage you do to them. Whether your decision is public or private, the narcissist will still be surprised by it. To hide their guilt and anger, they'll act like they were wronged. If you break up with a narcissist, they are likely to put the blame on you because no reason is ever good enough in their eyes. They had nothing to do with their own firing and were in no way to blame for it. If you talk about problems, they will be downplayed, ignored or forgotten. From their point of view, they were in charge. If you follow along, they seem happy. The only reason these things were done was to help them, not you. They loved you more than anyone else ever could. They can't even begin to imagine what life would be like without you. A narcissist will say things like this to make you think that you and they are good for each other. Because of this, they will continue to say that you are self-centered and not thankful. How the narcissist reacts to a discard may depend on whether or not you were an important source of supply for them. If the narcissist depended on your salary a lot, they would do anything to keep you around. They will try to change your mind by showing you flying monkeys. They will cry because of it. They might say they are going to kill themselves or do something bad to get your attention. You should be ready for them to try to kill you at any time. This is because for a narcissist, being turned down by a primary source can be the last straw. If narcissists lose access to something they need, they fall into a pit of despair. The narcissist would only try to fix their relationship with their main source of food when they were at their worst. On the other hand, the narcissist might feel so bad about what happened that they just disappear. It's common knowledge that many of them don't like it. But if you are the narcissist's secondary or even bad source of supply, you can expect to be constantly put down and lied about. The monkeys in the sky are planning to get together to talk about how bad things are for them. They could act like you're not a big part of how they stay alive. In that case, they'd look elsewhere for food and act like they're fine without you. But they act like nothing is wrong because they are sure they will be able to get more supplies and catch you again later. What matters in the end is how much narcissistic supply a person can give. It's also important to remember that how the narcissist reacts to your leaving will depend on how close you were to them. What is your name? Why are you here in the first place? This is how a narcissist thinks most of the time. Narcissists can't forgive or forget, so retaliation is always a possibility. People who are narcissists 
will always remember the good things you did for them, even if you no longer know them. Their seeming haste is often because they want narcissistic supply all the time. Even though this might make you think they have forgotten about you or given up on being friends with you, they haven't. If a narcissist feels like they've lost control of their life, they are more likely to react with narcissistic anger, shame or denial. This is because the unexpected rejection has made them feel shocked and confused. If you break up with a narcissist but still let them back in, they will hurt you again. That's all we're going to talk about today. If you know anything about narcissists, please share your thoughts and feelings in the comments section. If you thought this was helpful, please tell other people and give it a thumbs up. If you want to know when a new video is added, please subscribe and turn on the bell. As always, we're glad you're here today. I appreciate it a lot.